to Crazy Korean Cooking. Today we're going to make kalbichi. Yes, it's really hearty meal with you know nice short ribs with potatoes and carrots. But it's actually really easy to make. North American short ribs are cut this way, but it's this one is actually cut across. So it looks like this. If you have time, soak them in cold water for a few hours so all the blood is out. Put in the high heat and we're gonna bring it to boil um, and we're gonna throw out the water. Half. Cut the ends off. Give it a little bit of angle, 45. Okay. Um, they're ready. I'm gonna rinse them in the cold water. Gentle. <laughs> treat, treat them gently, please. Like your baby? Yes. Treat them gentle. I guess this is a great way to um, get rid of um, excess fat. Yeah. Too, right? Mm -hmm. See, our ancestors, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> Water? Soy sauce. Muriat is made of, uh, it's like a corn syrup, uh, the Korean version. So if you have this, it's great. If you don't, you can use sugar instead. The trick is, if you leave the lid open just a little bit, it will prevent it from overflowing. All right, it's cooking nicely. So it's halfway there, we're going to add our vegetables. I'm gonna make a little bit of room for them. I'm gonna chop garlic. Black pepper. And then cook for a little bit more. Finally, it's ready. So the secret of kalbichin is really braising it for a long time. Some sesame, green onions on top so for color. Ooh, wow. What a dinner table. <gasps> uh, my romantic dinner with Grace. <laughs> Should I do the honor? Yes, please. Okay. Drums rolling. Ta da! Ooh. Beautiful. It's my hand. Mmm. Perfect. So tender. Mm -hmm. So soft. Mmm. Mm. So, we're so full. <laughs> Look at all these uh, bones. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, some cave women. <laughs> in the rice like this. When you put down your um, utensils, you always put down on the side, like this. <laughs> well, my grandma is angry again because in some culture, it's okay to lift your uh, rice bowl like this, but actually in Korea, you're not supposed to actually hold it in your hand like this. You're supposed to always leave it on the table. Ah, oh, oh. uh, Grandma, I'm sorry. In Korean cuisine, there are a lot of communal dishes, like side dishes, where a lot of people are sharing together. And uh, you know, you, you, you have to use your chopsticks so that you, you just grab the, the piece you want and uh, not touch other pieces. Really, I think I'm full and I have a lot of homework to do so um, I'm gonna go first. Thank you so much for food, okay? I'll see you later. Mm. Bye! Mm. <laughs> oh, so oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Well, in Korea when you eat with 
an older person, you want to make sure that they're totally finished and they put their spoon down where it was before you get up. And please make sure you don't yell or talk with your mouth full because this is what happens. So that was a summary of uh, basic Korean table manners. And I know and I know my grandma was really angry, but you know it's really because she loves me and she wants me to yes. be uh, you know well mannered. So yeah, but you know at the end of the day, you know I love my grandma and yes. she loves me and not all grandmas are like this. They yes. could be very nice. Okay grandma. For more recipes and uh, cooking tips, visit crazycoreancooking.com And until next time, don't forget to do something crazy! Thank you, good luck, good luck, thank you. <laughs> I was making a lot of noise when I was... You got to make a lot of noise when I was... Okay, I'll see you.